What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Kamikaze. Uh, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I sure am. Um, so yeah, this is uh, part three. A series of videos that I'm going to be doing uh, showcasing some of the books that, um, uh, if you don't know, uh, that I've found in a collection I just purchased a few weeks ago. Um, still kind of going through everything, still trying to document everything, but I thought it'd be kind of fun um, every once in a while just to post up a video, some of the really cool highlighted books that uh, I have found um, in this collection. And there's no um, rhyme or reason for these books, I'm just posting them up um, sporadically. Whether I'm going to keep these books or not, I'm not 100% sure. But um, I'm starting to process what I have, uh, pulling out the keys, of course, setting them aside, and then I'll probably do another sweep through it, and then decide what I'm going to do with some of the runs, uh, and so on. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd just be kind of fun to show you guys some books. So why don't we get started? Um, There's a bit of a stack here to go through. I'm going to start off with a really hot book. I was super excited to, to find this one. I've been looking for one for a while. It's in pretty good shape. It has a couple spine ticks, you know, considering its age. But uh, Marvel Premiere 28, Legion of Monsters. A beautiful book. Um, Nick Cardi cover. Um, some people are speculating that we're going to get um, a team of Legion of Monsters. I don't know. Um, you know, we just, we just got Morbius, we're going to be getting World by Night, and the Halloween special coming up. Ghost Riders, you know, definitely um, been talked about, and then Man Thing. So that's also been speculated on, so it's a kind of a cool book to have. Definitely going to keep that one. Next up, we have Avengers 48. We all know this one. First appearance of third Black Knight, Dean Whitman, um, and Aragon, his winged steed as well, but uh, definitely a beautiful book. I'd call this one a seven, possibly, maybe a little bit less. Has a bit of damage, but I don't care. Good book. Uh, another fun book, Iron Man and Submariner 1. Just a beautiful cover, and this thing is in beautiful condition. So it brings together Tales of uh, to Astonish and Tales of Suspense in one issue, but uh, just a beautiful book. I was never one to be interested in, in pursuing this book, but now that I have it, it's really kind of cool, and it's in, it's in, I would say, pristine condition. To be honest with you, it has like one little spine tick, but uh, beautiful Bob Layton cover, um, Marvel premiere, The Astonishing Ant-Man 47. It's a book that probably will see some new heights as well, but just another great book. Uh, another book that is going to be getting more and more attention as we just got the announcement for uh, Nova. So we have first little corp in, um, in Fantastic Four, 205. Um, keep the pollen cover. Just a great book to have right now as things start heating up. Um, been a uh, Jim Starlin fan, so I love this cover. I had it originally. And I still do have it. When I was a kid, it was tattered and torn, but I happy to have the original Thanos. Just that awesome cover. That one's in pretty good shape. I'm going to keep that one. Uh, again, I'm not sure which books I'm going to hang on to, which I'm going to move on. I'm going to send some to CGC. Probably make a video uh, down the road of which books um, I've decided to keep, which books I've decided to send off to get graded. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. Still processing through all of those. Uh, second appearance and first cover of Rocket, an Al Milgram cover. Some beautiful book. Very hard because of the white cover, but this one's in great condition. These two definitely staying, definitely going to get graded. I know for sure, 100%. X-Men, which I'm going to show first. X-Men 129, let's show this one first. Uh, first Kitty Pride, a cameo of Hellfire Club. What a great cover. I love that. Then uh, I've actually been on the hunt for a, this book in a good condition. In good condition, uh, X Men, uh, Uncanny X Men 133. So first, uh, solo Wolverine story in X Men. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, I think it also confirms uh, Wolverine's human powers as well. But just a beautiful, beautiful book. 
Once I have this in my possession, it is a stunning book. I love this. Uh, King Size Special Hulk. Um, so it's a Jim Stranko cover, but apparently I've just learned that I'm not sure who at Marvel was not liking the way um, Jim drew um, Hulk's face. So I think Maurice Severin came in and drew Hulk's face. So this is a, a collaborative effort on this cover. Kind of a fun little piece of information. But it's a beautiful book. I was super happy to, to find this. I really wanted this book in the PC and happy it's, it was in there. Uh, some of the other um, annuals were in there, but this is the one that I was really after. Fantastic Four, Annual 6, First Annihilus, and a beautiful Kirby cover. Just a stunning book. Shows its age. Um, for being such an old book, but I don't care. I love that. And there are only a few older uh, Spider-Man uh, books, but this one is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I did not have 50, but I do have 51. It does have some issues, but I don't care. It's just a fantastic book. So second Kingpin, uh, first cover. Uh, John Romita Sr. Beautiful book. This one I was super happy to find. Um, kind of completes the set that I have now. And this one is definitely staying and definitely getting graded because it is it needs a press, maybe a tiny bit of a clean, but uh, we'll bring one first solo title and beautiful Frank Miller cover. Stunning, stunning book. I love this. That sort of sun fade. You just don't see those kind of covers anymore. Uh, again, sorry if I'm going through these quickly, but I just thought I'd do, again, these series of videos just highlighting some of the really awesome books that I've been finding, including this one here, Amazing Spider-Man 194, first Black Hat, an Al Milgram, Milgram cover. I guess there was a, a trailer, one of the trailers for Morbius, and in that trailer there was a newspaper that said um, Catwoman, friend or foe, so possibly in the future we're going to be getting... Catwoman. So this book will see new heights, but this one is staying as well. It is difficult to get high grade because of that black cover, but it is beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful book. Love that. All right, just a few more to get through. Uh, Fantastic Four 94 Kirby cover. First Agatha Harkness. Um, yeah, just a great book. We know that just Disney Plus is making a show all around Agatha. It's called House of Harkness. So that is in the future. And this book will probably, again, see some new gains. Um, this is my third copy. I love it. Um, it's one of my favorite X-Men covers. Uh, Mark Silvestri. Uh, first, Mr. S first full Mr. Sinister. X-Men 221. Look at that beautiful blue. It's just stunning. It's, again, this is one of my favorite Wolverine covers, one of my favorite X-Men covers. It's X-Men 221. What can I say? I'm just going to say, I'm just going to leave it right there. Right? Richard Ryder. Um, Nova Corp. Beautiful book. All right, there we go, guys. I'm going to be again. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, again a series of these. I'm going to be sh showcasing some of the books that I've been finding. Uh, I know some of you have been really enjoying seeing me find these books. I, I've personally been really, really enjoying finding them and going through it. It has been a monstrous task, and it still continues to to be. But I just got the good news that I'm going to be accepted into whatnot. So that is good news to move some of these books into new hands and I'm happy to uh, pass on some deals so uh, I'm happy for the future with that anyways that's what I have for today guys hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon take care cheers
Thank you.